motivates me is because I grew up in Salem, I want Collins Middle School to be considered the best middle school in the state. It's just been inspiring to stay at Collins and to see this turnaround that we've started and that we're continuing. Teacher leadership means to me teachers having a voice but also actively participating in the movement. So I said, how am I gonna model? So we're gonna um, use a picture of the Beebs eating pizza. So um, it can be as small as in your grade level teams making decisions about what we're gonna teach in curriculum. In our team meetings, we get to make decisions on how to help support kids. They feel ownership. I know I do personally. It makes me feel a part of the school and it gives that connection where you might not get if you're being told what to do. By us supporting teacher leadership, all of a sudden we're not only relying on the principal or the administrative team to really to ensure that we have high quality schools, that teachers then own that work along with the administration and not only own it, but can lead it, can inform it, and can help shape it. I cannot be good at every single thing, nor can my leadership team. But we have individuals in our buildings that are good at those things, and it's really identifying those individuals and giving them leadership roles to make everything the best that it can possibly be. Let's make pretend it's January. What would you do? What would the kids in New York City do different than you? And what challenges do the plows and workers have? Today in my sixth grade English class, we're going to see our scholars uh, preview the text, look at some vocabulary of a narrative fiction, and they are going to use the close read process to have a literal understanding of the text before we analyze going forward this week. If there were two feet of snow, to be honest, I would stay home. Yeah, try to stay home. That's what I would like to do. Molly, where's Whenever there? we're there and he tries to make it really fun because he knows that not a lot of kids like pay attention as well. So he tries to make everything like really short so that we can pay attention. And we're moving about to keep deep to me. Ty, can you continue on? And he said it would cost a dollar to get him and rent skates. Only so you want he asks you a question in front of the whole class? He says you can stand up on your chair to get more attention and stuff, and it makes everyone laugh. That's a great thing. Give everybody's answers two claps. All right, real quick. He's one of like the role models for the teachers. If he'll do something, a lot of teachers like they'll go off of what he says because they like like his idea. Our schedule is super important. Um, we have the extended learning time at Collins Middle School. On the average day, I'll observe a classroom and then I meet with a teacher. So he observed my class for a few weeks, looked at the data with me, and then proposed a couple changes. Came in, taught a lesson um, using those changes, and I've been teaching using his new sort of lesson plan strategy. And the kid said, hey, I like that. I like the way you did that lesson better. And he's like, that's what Mr. Khan and I were working on. I actually showed him like a data pie chart. And he actually brought one of his kids up and said, this is what I'm working on. I'm not talking as much. You guys are writing more. <laughs> and um, the kids kind of get the idea that teachers aren't perfect and we're always trying to improve. So whether it's the scholars achieving or the teachers reaching their potential, it, it still feels, it's almost that same feeling of pride. Snow is falling in the city.